What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and there it is! The good old Spec Ops Falcon. Remember the Spec Ops Falcon, ladies and gentlemen? Thermite, Thermite, and in the middle, the big brawler. That's what we have right now, the latest version of the Spec Ops Falcon now, with a new sonic weapon, the Devastator in the middle, brawling down anything in short range with the tactical opportunity of sending some extra bombs above cover to force enemy units or robots in using their abilities too early when they don't really want to use it yet but have no other choice if they don't want to get hit by the thermite. And this is the Spec Ops Falcon. There have been many such videos in the past uh, with this exact title because I constantly update the setup. Every time there's a new very good brawler coming out as a middle weapon, then that gives us an opportunity to change the Spec Ops Falcon into the, the more up-to-date version. Back in the days, we did it with Avengers, then we used Glory, right, as a massive damage output, and then we used the Nucleon, and now we're using the Devastator. And uh, here's just one uh, 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 example of the option and tactical possibilities this setup gives you. You activate the ability, then you send Thermite where the enemy can't even hit you, you activate last stand, you activate abilities, and then you just jump on them in the last second and just flatten them right out, out okay? This is the Spec Ops Falcon. In my opinion, one of the best and most fun setups to run on the Scorp on the, on the Falcon. Here, this guy just jumped on me. You know where he came from? Did you remember where he came from? He was on the platform behind me. I know that. So what I do now, I just walk backwards with him to his spawn point or to his uh, teleport point. Because then he has no choice. If he does, if he teleports back, he will still be in front of me because I walk to his point of origin, right? And that's exactly what I did right here. Uh, that's how you fight scorpions, by the way. If they aren't too far away and they jump on you, try and move with them to their original point uh, or point of origin and then you have them with their pants down when they teleport back with no resistance and no means of escaping. Or they will just teleport and uh, not teleport back and get killed instead. Here again, tactical possibilities on the Scorp uh, on the F Spec Ops Falcon instantly stealing a kill, right? We're playing free fall and these two thermites offer more than 110,000 damage output in the moment they hit. And one more thing you need to know, when I have the damage, um, the, uh, the drone intensifier here running, so every time I use an active module, I get another 75% damage output for seven seconds. And you see what I do here? I fire the thermite, then I activate my healing, even though I don't need the healing, but I activate the active module, and in the top left corner, I get the damage boost of 75% 5 boosters for 7 seconds. And this is how I'm easily able to smack that kill for uh, and make it my kill. Because I hit him with not just 110,000 HP, but actually with about 200,000 damage in one BOOM! And this is how you can steal, kill, steal, steal kills very, very effectively. Doing the same thing here again, activating the active module, BAM! And this guy loses like 60% of his health. In this case, he however had the counter to me. Because now my resistance is down, my healing is, is gone, and he happened to have lockdown ammo. I wanted to walk around the corner, uh, and that's what I planned on doing, but he has lockdown ammo, so he countered the living heck out of me right there. Uh, because I actually used my ability and had no resistance. Uh, so yeah, that was a nice counter, my friend. Thank you for showing me that I'm not invincible. <laughs> Good job. So let's go around the corner and bait this guy's ability here. He doesn't want to take any more Devastators to the face. He doesn't want to take any more rockets. Uh, so he started to fly way too early. I walk behind cover. I bait and wait out his ability. And then I just kill him afterwards with absolutely no problem at all. And this is the second placed enemy who is not going to get anywhere near being first anytime soon now that I killed him again. So, there's another enemy. Look, I'm jumping on him and bop, and I'm activating healing and BAM! Massive damage depending on, well, it depends on what it is. It's a hawk and I think it's a well-leveled hawk, otherwise he would have taken way more damage. And uh, now he's obviously doing a lot of damage to me. But um, he bypasses my resistance anyway, so whether I have my ability running or not doesn't really make a difference. But starting to heal, having increased damage output, and um, you see right here, 
I activated the active module for the added uh, drone intensifier damage output. And then you see how I'm now hitting him with two devastators. The damage output is almost, um, almost plus 100%. And therefore, it's like I'm hitting him with two Devastators at the same time while having my resistance going. And this is why he dies so fast from, the, from, from this damage output right there. It is such a powerful setup and such a powerful brawler, even with just the middle weapon right here. And if you just, if you utilize these auto weapons on top, then you can always boom on the enemy and force them into early activations of their important abilities and basically screw them, right? Uh, in this case here, he's got a leech, uh, no, sorry, a hawk, and he was going to counter my resistance, but I force him into following me by going around the corner, and since he does follow me in the end, I have a free kill afterwards with the added healing, the added bonus damage, and triple kill, boom. Activating healing here, but on, uh, uh, no, firing, but unfortunately, he was already considered in the air. Uh, so his resistance was already going. And now I'm being attacked from behind, which is very bad since I, my resistance was down. But it's still okay. I can still drop this guy with the healing and the active module damage boost. The drone uh, intensifier, as we call it now, right? Um, overdrive is something I don't have. Instead, I'm running right now the... Um, uh, the balanced unit, two times balanced unit, increased health and increased damage, both on the robot. So that's probably the best thing you can put on a Falcon these days. Um, and take a look at this. I, with my little 35,000 HP, I would actually beat this guy. Look, one hit of the Thermite, he loses 30% health. And then I'm jumping sideways, right? And now look how much damage I do with three shots of the, uh, of the um, Devastator. Unfortunately, I'm getting hit from the Titan. The Titan is shooting from right up here and shooting me down. But look, I almost killed the guy in these two seconds. So I would have gotten him if it wasn't for the Titan shooting me down there. Um, so yeah, another situation, another match. Again, free for all and in uh, on Castle as well. Wait, isn't that the first battle as well? Or wait, am I confusing something? Let me just check. Oh, it's wait, that's the same f battle that we already had. I must have made an editing error. I had an error. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm going forward. I, I made an er editing error right here. I copied the same material into the match again. My bad. Sorry. But I noticed it and I skipped past it for you guys. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Here. Back in the game with the next Spec Ops Falcon. The best Falcon ever existed in, in, uh, in War Robots right now. Jumping sideways or firing. But he was in cover, unfortunately. So next time, you're not going to be that lucky, my friend. I'm gonna get you next time. Don't you worry about this. Firing and boom. Ah, I would have hit him. You saw that was, that was the hit indicator. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough to hit him. One thing that's really interesting about the uh, Spec Ops Falcon, by the way, is the fact that you can fire Thermite exactly two times. You activate the ability, you fire Thermite immediately. Look. Yeah, I told you I was gonna get you. Bam! Uh, you activate the ability, you instantly fire your Thermite, and then you wait 8, 9, 10 seconds, and then you can fire your Thermite one more time before your resistant, uh, resistance ki kicks back in, and the thing is gone. Here, told you I was gonna get you, buddy. Bam! There you go. That's something only the Spec Ops Falcon can do, and that's why it's called and referred to as the Spec Ops Falcon. Also here, boom, that was a Fenrir right there, man. Massive damage done to the Fenrir and to prove to you that you can fire twice look I'm jumping backwards and I'm firing another salvo of rockets Somehow it hasn't done any damage this time, which is weird, but I uh, this is what you can do And this is also why the thermite might actually be one of the best um, one of the best uh, auto weapons on the Falcon of course you could go with dragoons you can go with with two more Devastators if you want and just activate ridiculous amounts of damage and maybe even utilize a last stand so you can really just hammer into the enemy for those five seconds without worrying about your weapons. Uh, so that's also another opportunity to run the Falcon three times Devastator with a last stand and just just blast them out of existence. Uh, but it's not as tactical because you can't um, abuse this trollish, uh, you know, Thermite weapon setup. So here comes a Vortex Aphid Nightingale. Interesting setup, by the way. And uh, 
Yeah, but one that still gets killed relatively quickly after we're done here um, with him. He respawns and something else, I guess. So jumping on the on the hawk right here and fire and I would kill him now, but somehow I get suppressed. Boom. Right in that moment, see my weapons are starting to become red. Right in that moment when my thermite hits, I was suppressed. Damn it, because that would be a kill. I timed it with his landing. And so I only did half the damage or even less. And he almost still died from it, right? So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, imagine that would have been no suppression. He would be dead right now, all right? So unfortunately, now I have to follow him and, uh, and then just kill him afterwards. <laughs> I still get him killed, but unfortunately, it, was re it required me to go all the way here. Now here I remember I'm making a little mistake, okay? What I do here, I go in, I do massive damage to this guy, and then I wait out, look, he's still firing, now he's reloading, now, now he's reloading, no more firing. Now what I could do is activate my auto weapons and fire the thermites, because he's a stationary target, he gets the full damage to the face, and I have my added damage boost rolling at the same time too, okay? That would be a one hit kill now. But I was so worried about getting attacked by someone else from left and right that I didn't dare to drop my resistance and activate the added weapons. But in this situation, it would have helped me to secure this kill, okay? If I had just activated these extra weapons and hit him with the thermite, he would be done. And because I didn't, he had this sliver of health left. Oh well, that's a mistake that I made, saw myself making right here while I uh, recorded this gameplay. I recorded this uh, today, a few hours before, um, but when I release this video, it's no longer today for you. It might be, I, maybe I release this video that I'm recording right now, only in, yeah, in a couple of days or so. But see that, this hawk, it's the same player, by the way, it's weird. Um, this hawk just landed, and I hit him so hard with the thermite, he lost 60% of his health in just one hit, right? And now he's, he's afraid that he gets another hit, that's why he's like, uh, retreating back against the, the corner of the map and here I can show you and prove to you that the thermite forces enemies into activating their abilities look I trigger my ability I fire the thermite and what is he gonna do he immediately starts to fly because he does he does no longer no not again what these does he want to get hit by those mad th uh, thermite damage here again I'm making a mistake I should now jump over the cover after him I didn't jump after him, instead I walked, uh, which, you know, it, it still works, but I'm now getting locked down, really, see? And that's the problem. So I'm waiting out the lockdown, then I'm jumping, and then I get to kill him real quick with a Thermite. Without the Thermite, not sure if I had the time before he activated the next ability, so... Yeah, I got it really quickly here. Firing Thermite one more time. Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't. And now I'm getting jumped on by two scorpions at the same time. No chance. Uh, but we're back in the last match, ladies and gents, here with the Spec Ops Falcon doing the best we can in brawling against three attacking phantoms. Three of them at the same time. That's weird. You, how often do you see three phantoms at the exact same position from the enemy team? The hawk is flying up, uh, and I'm trying to stay safe. Uh, because the hawk bypasses my resistance, but unfortunately he did he did connect his beam with on me again But I take revenge on him, right? I just jump forward and zing and boom So I did my my damage back to him uh, with my little without needing line of sight for it because spec ops Tell me what you think and how you like the spec ops falcon ladies and gentlemen and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel then consider doing this right now. I would appreciate to have you guys on board if you are not yet a uh, member of this uh, stream or uh, blah, 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 of the stream. Uh, if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Look how much damage we're doing to the Nightingale, and that thing has a lot of HP. And now maybe maybe I wouldn't kill him in a fast enough before he flies again. You know the Nightingales usually fly very fast. So I switch to the other weapons and open up with a massive Alpha Strike and instantly kill the guy before he gets the chance to fly again, right? I, I guess it was just milliseconds away from flying again, so yeah. And then firing one more time, zang, bam, 
into the Ao Chun from behind cover. It did very little damage in this case, but uh, it's okay. I still have my healing. I'm ready for this guy. Bam, bam, bam with with two uh, devastators due to the um, drone intensifier dealing massive damage. Actually, this seems to be the last situation now. Yep, because it's 0-0. Zero, zero. That means this is another match in free fall. And look how much damage this leech just took. Wow, bye leech. Have a good one. Ouch, I got hit by that from his uh, vortex. Um, I could hit him back, but the problem is that he's got that shield. So instead, I'm going for this guy. Jump, activating drone intensifier, and boom! Before he gets to fly into safety, I have him deleted from the game. And uh, yeah, so that's the Spec Ops Falcon. I really like to know, like to know what you think. Here, this guy's last stand. Bye! He would never have lost that last stand if I did if it did, wasn't for the tactical options that this weapon setup gives you, right? And yeah, that's that's what makes it so fun for me. So going in here, trying to do some damage. Ah, another hawk is on us. I'm healing, I'm counter healing the damage from the hawk. Uh, and thankfully I survived. Coming back for another attack run here. Alright, and see what we can do. Fire! And boom! See, that was the hawk that just attacked me a second ago, and I just hit him back. <laughs> yep. So this is it. That's the Spec Ops Falcon, the latest version of it. I'm gonna read the comments and see what you guys think. Hopefully you also like this setup. It's my favorite, personally. Um, I, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I was the first to ever use this setup. Probably not, but I did come up with the name Spec Ops Falcon because, in my opinion, it fits the job. Like, it fits its description. So yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one, and until next time, Manny signing off. Bye-bye.